This lecture, guys, you could say it's an overview of what you have learned until now in terms of animation. But you are going to expand your knowledge, learn more about keyframes, about properties and motion path. So actually, it's a collection of tips and tricks on how to work better while creating animations. So it would be very nice if you could follow along with me. So guys, please launch After Effects and follow along with me. It's going to be fun. Try to do what I'm doing. And uh, of course, if you have questions, post them in the Q&A section of the course. But it's going to be very easy. Of course, in After Effects, everything starts with a composition. So in CC 2018, you will click on New Composition. If not, you can click on the famous button here for New Composition. Now, let's give it a nice name. Let's call it First Animation. Now, you could use any preset you would like, but I prefer to use these presets just for the course. The width will be 1280, height 720, and square pixels. But make sure that frame rate 30. It's going to be important later on. The duration, you can make it 5 seconds. I will choose background black because it's good for you to see. I'll click OK to create the composition. Now we learned how to create text and shapes. Let's create some text. Click on the text tool and I will look at the character panel. Decide on the font, on the size of the font for now. And everything else is OK. So I will double click on the text tool to start typing the text. Let's write simple motion graphics. Since I don't want to add any text, I will go for the selection tool. Let's align this text completely in the middle of the composition. You can come to the align tool and make sure you align it horizontally and vertically. Now let's draw some shape. Of course, if you select the rectangle, you have to make sure to deselect everything. You deselect by pressing F2. And let's do a background for this simple motion graphics. I'll click and draw a nice rectangle that will do. And you can now align it in the middle of the composition. Here you are. I press V to get the selection tool. But now we have a problem here. The shape layer is above the text. To adjust this is very easy. You just click, take the shape layer under the text. Notice the blue line here is indicating to you where you are going to drop the shape layer. I will release the mouse button. Here you are. And we have the text on top of the shape layer. Let's adjust a bit the text. We can use the arrow keys up and down to adjust it just in the middle to look beautiful. Now let's start animating. Select the text layer, twirl down the first time and turn down again under transform. Here you have all the properties that you can animate from position to opacity. Every time you see a stopwatch, this is the rule, it means you can animate a property. Let's create an animation with the position property. So we move the text around. To start an animation or to initiate an animation, you need to create the first keyframe. To create the first keyframe, you click on the stopwatch next to the property you want to animate. In this case, it is position. Notice what happened. A keyframe has been created wherever the time indicator was positioned. This is your time indicator. It indicates the time. You can see the time over here and over here. So the time indicator was at 0, 0 and the keyframe was created wherever the time indicator was. Now, this keyframe means that at this time, ensure that position has these coordinates, as simple as this. But at 0, 0, in the beginning, you don't want the text layer to be in the middle here. You want it maybe outside of the composition. Let's change its position by scrubbing through the values. So this is horizontal, the first one, and the second one is vertical. If you click and scrub, it starts going up or down. The value increases or decreases if you go up. Here you are. So I'll take it out and position it outside the composition. Let's come to the viewer here and press this bar. This is the move tool and then move it up so we can see the shape layer. So now this keyframe means at this time, 0, 0, position the shape layer at these coordinates and it's outside the composition. But yet you don't have an animation because an animation is through time. So it just makes sense that you go down in time, for example, to one second and you change the coordinates of the position. Let's see what you can do. Let's take it up. Here you are. 
Okay. So a new keyframe has been created for you automatically. You didn't have to do anything. All you did is to change the value. This works for all properties that can be animated in After Effects. On the left here, you have the keyframe navigator. Left arrow will go backward one keyframe, right arrow will go forward. So now we have two keyframes, each have a certain position. If you scrub through, you will notice that After Effects has created the animation for you, or it has interpolated the values in between the first keyframe and the second keyframe. If you want to preview your animation, you can come to the preview panel and make sure that the settings here are exactly like I'm showing you here. So cache before playback is unchecked. The range is work area. Play from current time. Of course, you have 30 frames per second. Make sure you don't play full screen and make sure that move time to preview time is checked. You can now size it up so you can see only this part. If you press the play stop, it will play your animation. Here you are. Of course, it will play from the beginning of the composition or whatever the timeline indicator was till the end and loops back. Here you are. If you press F2 to deselect, you can see it better now. Fantastic, you created the first animation. To stop your animation, you can click on the stop over here or you can just click on the timeline on the time indicator. It will stop. That's my favorite. That's what I'm going to do all the time. So we created the first animation uh, by creating two keyframes using position. Now let's animate the rectangle. So we come to rectangle. I'm scrolling up and down with the mouse here. We scroll down transform. And then let's animate the opacity. Why not? What is opacity? At zero opacity, it means it's totally transparent. At 100% is 100% opaque or no opacity at all. Let's animate that. Now, after one second, when the text layer is over here, I want the opacity of the background or the shape layer to be 100%. So you need to initiate the animation for opacity by clicking on the stopwatch. Simple. A keyframe is created for you. Let's go to the beginning now at 0, 0 and change the value of opacity to create an animation. We put it down to zero. First keyframe is zero for opacity. Next keyframe is 100%. You scrub through and you get a feel of the animation. Here you are. I press F2 to deselect and if you scrub through, you can see it very nicely. To play your animation, you can press spacebar and it plays from zero to five seconds and loops back. This is the concept of animating in After Effects. Let's select a bit the text layer and see exactly what is this line that has been created here. This is called the motion path. You cannot create a motion path. The motion path is created automatically when you animate the position. You notice it has two big squares and some line which has dots here. The squares represent the keyframes. If you click on the top one, for example, it represents the last keyframe here. If you click on the bottom one, you notice you highlighted, it represents the first keyframe. In between here, you have the small dots. I zoomed using the mouse scroll here. Every dot represents a frame. You notice here, if I move up the time, the motion graphics, the text layer is moving frame by frame. Okay, let's use page up and page down to move frame by frame. Look at the frames over here and here. Page down, you move down in time and this is up in time, frame by frame. So this is the concept of motion path. Just notice the existence of the motion path now and there will be a very special section for motion path and smoothing your animation. Cool guys, congratulations. You created your first animation and I hope you followed along with me. If you didn't, please go to After Effects and do this animation. Do whatever you like, you know, play around. Let's put the timeline here, take the text here and just move it to the outside. Here you are. And then after, for example, three seconds, okay, let's put it back over here. Okay, just like this I'm playing and let's play the animation, see exactly what's happening. Goes back, wow. Okay, play around, you know, create keyframes. And if you want to delete some keyframes, just select them with a lasso like this, press delete, you deleted them. 
And of course, we can move them around, but you'll see this in details in the next lecture. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture with a more complex motion graphics. See you then.